Hey there, if you're looking for an easy and affordable tool to sell your digital products online, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you a free tool that you can set up in the next 30 minutes and start using for free in order to sell your digital products online. If you're interested in more marketing technology and tools videos, then please hit the subscribe button on this channel and hit that bell notification so that you're updated about all upcoming videos. So let's get into it. Okay, let's dive into Payhip. So Payhip is a platform that's very similar to Gumroad or Send Owl, where it helps you sell your digital products online and, you know, receive money for it. So let's look at some of the features. You can sell digital downloads. Um, so ebooks, templates, worksheets, courses, all of those things that can be downloaded. You can sell memberships so you can make recurring revenue using Payhip. And then they, they're they European based so they handle EU VAT for you automatically. And then you can look at some reviews, you can look at some, you know, different options or uh, that they have, uh, the other products that are on Payhip. Let's look at uh, pricing in a, in a little detail. So the one thing that I really like about Payhip as compared to, you know, other platforms like maybe Send Owl or Gumroad is that they offer all features unlimited products and unlimited revenue on all plans. So you can actually use Payhip for free with all features completely accessible to you. Of course, the only difference is they, uh, they you know, charge you more as a transaction fee compared to, a you know, if you're using the plus plan or the pro plan. The pro plan is no transaction fee. So of course, it would make sense to move to a higher price plan if you're, you know, getting that much traction. So maybe if you're selling 100 products a month, maybe instead of, you know, using the free plan where they'll charge you 5% transaction fee, maybe you could be on the plus plan where you would pay $29 a month and then only two percent transaction fee so of course if you're just getting started the free plan makes complete sense because you'll only pay the transaction fee if someone buys something fr from you and i think this is really good i don't know if it's a feature just because you know it's a, a comparatively new platform and they might you know increase the price or change something but as of now this is how is it is and i think it's great so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's look inside the platform and see how it is. And I have created an account. So let's go ahead and check, check out how this works, right? So I actually have already created one product and Payhip will basically show you how far you are in your setup, uh, in, you know, in your store setup. So I've done the first thing where I added a product and then I just have to, you know, set up checkout and then celebrate. And then I can also add other things for my store. So my profile, short bio, design. I think if, you know, if you're looking for a quick way to start selling your digital products, this complete setup will probably take you like 30 minutes, right? So what we'll do is let's first go on the products and see how we can create new new product so I've just created a demo product here I'll add a new product and use you know the same demo so when you are creating a new product you can select from a digital product a physical product and subscription billing subscription billing is mainly used for membership sites so I'm just going to choose add digital product and then this is upload product file. So your ebook, your worksheets, whatever it is, that is what you'll be uploading there. I'm just probably going to upload like a video here. I'm uploading a Gumroad video in Payhem, but this is just an example. So you can also upload a video. It says all formats accepted. And then if you want to, you know, learn more about it, you can click here. You can also see that uh, the maximum size of the files is 5 GB so keep that in mind when you know you're creating a video you might have to compress it or something or you might have to zip it you know if there are multiple videos maybe zip it uh, to you know upload it as one file then you'll add the product title 
I'll just use that and then you'll add the price and then you'll add a product image so this is the image that will appear so right now let me see if I have any images saved I'm just gonna I have this image right here probably just use this one um, so it says recommended minimum image width is thousand pixels this is I don't think this is thousand pixels but I'll just keep it as it is you can also embed audio or video here so on your sales page you could embed like a YouTube video or maybe like a Vimeo video or a SoundCloud video and that would appear on your sales page which is also a great option because a lot of times you know video does way better than image especially like on a sales page so this is a great option to have you could record a sales video you could upload it on youtube as an unlisted video and then embed it on the sales page and then you would just write description i will just uh, write a sample description here and then uh, you could you know add different options here uh, limit the time this product is sold automatically subscribe customers to mailing list you could have unique license keys i'll just say this product is tax exempt and then i'll just click on add product so now the product is created this is the product link and you can share the product on facebook and twitter here let's go back to our dashboard so I've created two products. Now I'll click here to set up checkout. So set up checkout, basically PayHip, unlike Gumroad, integrates with Stripe and PayPal. So every time you get paid, that payment goes to your Stripe account. Whereas on Gumroad, you have to add in your bank account details into the platform and they will send you the money, you know, uh, either weekly or once every three weeks or something like that. So you can actually connect your Stripe account here and also link your PayPal account here. And, uh, you know, you the way you can do that is just click on accept payments with Stripe. And if you already have a Stripe account, you can connect it click here and it'll ask you to log in into your Stripe account or you can sign up for Stripe. Signing up for Stripe is free. And then you have other details here. So billing, taxes, shipping. So right now I'm on the free plan, so I don't have any billing options. Under advanced settings, you can, you know, set up if you want to stamp um, your PDF file so that you protect it. Uh, which is like a big issue in the online space right now. So this is a good option um, for physical products. You have some inventory notifications, you have download limits. So if you're selling an ebook, you could limit the number of times one customer downloads that ebook. You can add your Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel. You could choose your un units here. Uh, you could, you know, uh, choose the subject and message for the email received when someone buys something from you and then just save settings. So that's basically uh, your checkout. I haven't added my Stripe account. That's why it's kind of my checkout is not complete. And then celebrate. It's just you've done your product. You've set up checkout. Now you're ready to start, you know, uh, promoting your product and just putting it out there and getting paid and selling your products and then under this you can you know upload your profile picture that shows up on your store so under account settings which is basically here settings you can make changes to your store so upload your profile picture here company name here and then this is basically the link so if you go to payhip.com slash online tech marketer you'll be able to see all the products there so it's basically your store you could add a short bio here your website link instagram youtube all of these things right so when someone goes to your store they'll be able to see all of these details so that they can get go ahead and you know follow you on instagram or youtube or wherever it is that you share your content the other thing that you can also do is go to design editor and you can change the way your pages look like so you can change the colors of the buy button you can change card button colors 
uh, you can add a background image to your page and you can also add CSS which uh, on Gumroad the CSS option is only available on the paid plan but in Payhip you can you know use this option on the free plan as well. If you want to change how your store page looks you can just select which page you want to customize and this is how the page looks right now. Uh, you could you know change the uh, colors you could display product titles here um, you could change upload an image you could change uh, you could add a header image so if I wanted to add an image in the header maybe something like this random image I could do that So this is basically the background, that image, right? Uh, again, CSS, same way you could update your checkout page um, and change the design right here. Since I'm not connected any of these, it's not letting me do it, but you get my point. You can make all the edits to pages under design editor. Then when you go into your products, you'll be able to see all the products you've created. If you wanna share a product, just use, copy this link, or you can embed the button so you can embed the buy now button or you can embed the complete page if you embed the complete page your entire sales page will basically be embedded on your website so if i copy this link here and paste it so this is basically your sales page i haven't added too much of a description and stuff but if you add a video here, it you know it's really powerful and can help you sell even more. And then under analytics, you can basically see all the analytics. So sales, how many people viewed your sales page, how many sales you've had, uh, what are the sources for your visitors? So are they coming from Instagram, YouTube, or other other things? And then where in the world are your are they based, right? Um then you also have marketing here which again you can you know uh, add a coupon so if you want to create a campaign you can add a coupon you can choose whether that coupon applies to all products or only a particular product how much a percentage off will they get what's the coupon code number of times the coupon can be used so you can add a limit maybe 10 First 10 people get the discount and then you can also add a coupon exp expiration date. You can give social discounts so uh, you can choose again which product, how much percentage of and then create it here. So basically you know whenever someone shares this discount so it basically says let customers receive discounts when they share on Facebook so if I've added this discount on my product page it will say that share this product on Facebook to get a discount uh, you can also add affiliates here so this is the link that when I share this with you you can become an affiliate for my product so if I click on this right now it's showing me my dashboard but if i go to affiliates and sh you know copy this link and maybe open it in an incognito window so basically they can sign up and then they can become affiliates for my products this is a mailing list you can set up a mailing list and you can select uh a service provider you use so right now these are the options that are available uh, so if you're using ConvertKit you just need your API key and then just save details I use active campaign and that's not in this list so I cannot use uh, my mailing list right here and then if you know if you're creating cross sales so let's say you select a product so when people add this product to their cart you can add another product that will be shown to them for a discount right so those are cross sales that you can add here um, so 
this is where you can in incentivize your customers so you can you know uh give them a referral uh, affiliate commission of sorts so if someone refers their friends to this product they get like 25 per 25 uh, a percent off so you can add referrals here and then upgrade basically if you want to encourage uh, someone who's already bought your product to buy another product from you you can add that as an upgrade here so tons of different options under marketing under customers you can basically see all list of all your customers your subscribers sales followers so followers are basically followers of your store but again um, you know when compared to gumroad i think pay payhip is kind of you know maybe better because uh, all features available for free also they have many more features under marketing uh, of course you cannot create emails or you know create and create a mailing list if you're using uh, email platform that is not on their list but again this is a newer platform there so they're constantly adding to it so definitely check it out if you're looking for an easy way to sell digital products find the link uh, for payhip in the description and get started maybe it'll probably take you 30 to 60 minutes to set everything up so i hope this uh, review and tutorial helped you if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments and if this was helpful i please subscribe to this channel uh, i'd really appreciate it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye